Live from downtown Bakersfield, 23 ABC News starts now. Leaving behind a legacy of sweetness, we have a look back at the life of Frank DeMarco, founder of Rosemary's Creamery, who passed away this week. And a man behind bars for over a decade, now giving back to society in a way he never imagined. Good morning and thanks for joining us for 23 ABC News at 6 a.m. I'm Danielle Kernkamp. And I'm Mike Hart. Glad you're here. Let's start things off with a look at our traffic and bring in CHP officer Robert Rodriguez with the very latest. Hello, Robert. Hey, hello, Mike. Good morning, everybody. Uh, here through town, uh, still a very nice traffic commute uh, for this Wednesday morning. We're almost through the work week, so good news there. And again, no crashes to report. Those of you making your travels out of town, again, all of your major routes are open. We do have one incident that's going to be on the north end of the county, uh, southbound side of uh, Highway 99 on the Sherwood Avenue off ramp. We have a vehicle that's blocking traffic lanes there, uh, so just use caution. But again, pretty quiet uh, traffic commute so far this morning. That's more like a traffic. We'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Robert, love it. Thank you so much. We also have some of those gusty winds coming through the passes. Look at this northerly flow here. With that, we're not expecting much rain out of this. Some showers, some drizzle in those foothills as you're heading up into those mountains and some winds to help boost you up and over. But it's not accumulating rain. And as you see, those winds are picking up through Tachby and down into Mojave. This will be one of our windy locations for today and close to some 50 mile an hour wind gusts later. That's close to advisory level. So just keep it in mind if you are traveling through those regions where we have some 40s posted this morning, 40 here in the base of Breakersfield, heart of the valley, but pretty calm and quiet with those trapped clouds. We're going to break those apart midday and stay clearing, but then cooler this afternoon with some 50s. This weekend, we still want to get to the sunny 70s, but that forecast may get ruined, and I'll show you why coming up in our full forecast. We are following breaking news this morning. An earthquake reported in the heart of Oildale. 23 ABC's Austin Westfall joining us live from the area right now, where apparently thousands of people were jolted awake this morning. Austin? Mike Danielle, the USGS is saying this is a 3.3 magnitude earthquake. It was exactly what you said it was. It was a jolt. We actually felt it in the newsroom about an hour ago before we headed out here. It wasn't like a typical rolling motion like you might think of some earthquakes being. It was more of a quick, uh, almost like a bang, and, and we heard a noise along with it from the newsroom. It just felt like the building was jolted awake. Uh, many people on social media also saying the same thing. Some people saying they're close to Stockdale High School, for example. Uh, some in Northwest Bakersfield, uh, some in, in Rosedale. They're saying they it woke them up. They're saying it was a loud bang and it rattled their windows. Um, um, again, this is a 3.3 magnitude earthquake. Uh, it's a much smaller earthquake than what was reported uh, this past July during those July 4th uh, pair of earthquakes, the 6.4 magnitude and the 7.1 earthquakes. 3.3, this one in Oildale. We encourage anybody, if you're in a safe place, to send us pictures or videos. If you have any damage, you can send them over to Turner 23's Twitter or Facebook page. But for now, in Oildale, Austin Westfall, 23 ABC, connecting you. Now to the loss of a man with a truly sweet disposition. Frank DeMarco, the founder of Rosemary's Creamery, died Monday due to complications from congestive heart failure, according to his family. He loved doing this, and he just what he, what he taught me about this place was, was hard work. For the last 36 years, his legacy has brought sweetness and joy to the community through the sweet treats at Rosemary's Creamery. Rosemary's has become a staple located on the corner of F and 28th Streets in downtown. The ice cream shop named after his wife of more than 60 years was opened by the couple back in 1984. Customers to us are very important. Without them, you have nothing. So you got to treat them with respect and you got to give them a good product. That was an interview when we spoke with Frank DeMarco back in 2015 as he spoke about the importance of customer service. Patrick Brandon, DeMarco's grandson, says the business will continue to serve the community. The services honoring and remembering the life of Frank are open to the public and will be held on February 5th at St. Francis. DeMarco was 89 years old. After spending 12 years behind bars, Robbie Miller never put much thought into what he would want to do in, with his life outside of prison walls. He never imagined he would meet a friend that would not only help him adjust to a new life after prison, but lead him to a life changing career. Once I got that dog, it gave me purpose in life. Robbie Miller's life didn't always look like this. I went to the streets, got involved in gangs and um, violence and drugs. Years ago, while living in Southern California, wrong turns and bad decisions eventually led Robbie here, the Oklahoma State Penitentiary. I got locked up for armed robbery where I did 12 years in prison. I was caught up with all the prison politics. But towards the end of his sentence, a change of heart. I just got sick and tired of living that lifestyle. 
lifestyle. I started going to church. Robbie says he wasn't sure exactly what life after prison would look like, but he did know he wanted a dog. It was something that was like meant to happen. After 12 years behind bars, Robbie was released in 2014 and went to live with family in Kern County. The transition was not easy. When you get out of the penitentiary and you're all tatted up and you you feel people are judging you, even though they might not, they because they see you and you're going to get treated different. That's when Robbie learned about Shadow through Marley's Mutt's dog rescue. Shadow was locked in a cage in Ridgecrest and they shot, shot her when she was in a crate dumped in the desert. I related to her about being in a cage. Robbie said it was because of Shadow, emotions were resurfacing that he hadn't experienced since before he served time. Compassion, love, that was all out the window because if you show weakness in there, um, people thrive off of it. It was like the perfect dog to start a new life with because we were both struggling with uh, lots of situations. After he stood by Shadow's side as she underwent a life-saving surgery, Miller says he was inspired by her strength. There was a 40 caliber bullet lodged in her lungs about a centimeter from her heart. So they actually had to crack her open, remove part of her lung. It wasn't long before his love for Shadow grew into something more. After working with local dog rescue Marley's Mutts and a dog sanctuary in Oklahoma where he learned to treat animals. Dog communication, behavior, the medication sides, vaccinations. Miller founded a dog rescue of his own, Strength of Shadow or SOS. There is so many dogs that need help in Kern County and um, I just felt that they needed a a place up here in the Kern River Valley. Based out of Bonfish, in the last year and a half, SOS Rescue has worked with about 80 dogs. At SOS, what we do is we, we pull from high kill shelters in Kern County only, rescue them, do their medical work, try to get them their basic training. They all have their own issues, and um, a lot of times it just takes a little patience, some TLC, and you can get them through. Robbie says from SOS Rescue, dogs have gone on to find their forever homes with loving families, veterans in need of companionship. I don't like to go anywhere without it. And even to star in national commercials. And dog life is more fun with Milk Bone. Miller says Shadow changed his life, and now he's able to pay that forward to dogs dozens of adoption families. No matter what walk of life, you know, from deaths to physical abuse to divorces, military, how a dog can bring every walk of life together. His second chance at life more fulfilling than he could have ever imagined. Before, I was just taking from the world. Every day I was giving people their first addiction. I was robbing people. Now, every day, I'm making the world a better place with my team. So if you want to support SOS Rescue, you can do that just by ordering lunch here downtown at Angry Barnyard Barbecue. They have the SOS dog on their menu. Pro proceeds of that do benefit SOS Dog Rescue. The city of Bakersfield is making room for a new natural gas fueling station and the community has a chance to witness the big reveal. SoCal Gas is hosting a ribbon cutting event at its new natural gas fueling station. The stations will help to clean the air and reduce climate emissions along the major logistics transportation corridors off highways 99 and the 65. The fueling station will be open to the public 24 seven to serve the clean trucking fleets that use renewable natural gas. The ceremony is tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. at 35118 McMurtry Avenue. The Housing Opportunity Foundation presents a night at the Oscars Dreaming Beyond the Stars Gala this week. It benefits low-income families in gaining financial independence and self-sufficiency. So join 23 ABC this Friday, January 31st at the Padre for an evening of fundraising, inspiration, and entertainment. To get your tickets, go to kernopportunityfoundation.org. There will be food, drinks, and entertainment. Again, it's all at the Padre Hotel in downtown starting at 7 p.m. on Friday.